Hey, hello everyone. How are you, my dear achievers? Welcome to your very own class 9th and 10th channel. And I can see very few names today. I don't know why. I can see Mayank, Rishi, Arvind, Ishika, Devadrita. Hello, good evening. Hey, Goransh. Yes, today's session is about refraction, right? So, you have learned about refraction, right? You have learned all the laws of reflection. You have done questions on spherical mirrors, right? So today, we'll talk about refraction. And you know what? We'll start with a simple magic trick also. And I think Thumbnail has given you an idea what magic trick, right? So yes, SDT, Samyak, Neo, hello, Arvind, Tavishi. Excited, huh? Nice. Very good. Very good. So yes, that's that's why we are here today. Hello, Anusha. So one question. So the similar question we asked in reflection. And at that time also, a lot of you said that, sir, reflection is still fine, but you know what? Refraction is difficult. Is it true? Hello, Kavita. Do you also think that refraction is even more difficult than reflection? Is it? Good evening. And yeah, by the way, am I uh, clearly audible and visible to you? Just let me know with a thumbs up or anything. Very true, huh? Nice. That's what I expected. It's difficult, huh? Nice, thanks. Because if, uh, lens part is a bit confusing. So if it's difficult, which makes my job even, even more important and you know, I'm happy for it. At least I can be more useful to you, yeah? True, good evening, yes. Nice, because refraction is a new term. Yeah, it's a very valid point, uh, uh, new. Refraction is a little new, but you know what? The thing which I have always tried to tell you, uh, these kind of sessions, na, it's good if you experience them. And today's session, the only reason I'm doing that magic trick, the disappearing thing, the thing which magicians have been trying to pull off for a very long time, because Everything is magic until unless you experience the science behind it, right? That's true. So that's why today we'll do a magic trick. We'll explore the science behind it. And because of this, we'll understand refraction as well. Okay. How does this sound to you? Does it sound interesting? Does it sound uh, uh, better than the way we have learned conventionally the refraction thing? Huh? What do you say? Hey, Ashish, good afternoon. I think the strength is, is, is looking less today. Huh? Or people are less, less excited, huh? Hey, chota bhi. Interesting, yes. Sometimes easy, sometimes hard, huh? Hey, Lakshit. Okay. Yeah, Shweta, I'm there. So in the, in the, uh, if you, if you subscribe, yeah, you'll, you'll see me there. Hey, Nivedita, Mayank, Ishika. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, guys, let's start refraction of light. You know what? With a bang, will make a glass rod disappear. And in the last time, a uh, lot of you were asking about the premium thing. And that's why we added this small thing for you. This is all about how to uh, get a trial pack. All right. So there are two teacher models. And I see the app at such has a lot of features. But, you know, I can't spend the time explaining all of them. That's why I'll just tell you. So all these things are also there. You can choose your class timings. You get, you get personal attention. These are all online tuitions. And because there is a sale kind of thing going on, that's why, you know, you will get it for one nine and one session pack, two session pack you get for two nine nine and three session pack you get for three nine nine. If you want for one month. So you will get a whole experience. And this is a good thing in my opinion, because you know what, uh, a lot of times in live sessions, there are restrictions in terms of this platform's capability. So that's why these sessions, you can try with one, I would say, you know, for, for, for beginning, if you want to try, you can go with one session, try it. If you think it's good, then go for another one, right? It's okay. So that's why link is there in the description. You can try it. You can let us know. How did you find it? All right. And you're, we are, I'm always telling this to you. Uh, if you want, or if we want to connect to each other, be open about the things you like, the things you don't like. All right. Be open and, you know, replies in the comment section. Hey Parvati, no, you're not late. So yes, link is there in the description. Go ahead. If you feel like trying it, try it. Fine. Let's move forward then. The 45 days plan is still on and this is time to do the magic trick. Yes. 
does the background gives you a feeling of magic trigger like some some grand opening of of the of the things will happen all right yes hey jatin so let's start and let's do a magic and you know what it's time for a magic show and i don't have that magic hat but you know what i'll just change my position let's start so the first ingredient ha huh, nice now i look good na in between with this and and the, with this whole whole thing behind me yeah it looks good nice so yeah let's start come on first thing i'll need is this one it's a, this is more like a stand okay fine just like a magician all right next thing i need a beaker all right i have a beaker fine okay yes i'll just turn the ac on and then i'll just remove it huh? yes cool so i have a beaker now what do i need i need tongs uh forceps whatever you want to call it okay i have this also what i need is a test tube where is my test tube i can't find my test tube hey can you can you can you see my test tube huh? guys where is my test tube uh 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 i seem to have lost my test tube any any hint can you help me out over here any idea ishika rishi sdt parvati arvind test tube i'm not able to find it's in the studio ah huh? <laughs> wo here's my test tube let me bring it to the center test tube is in the oil right if i dip it we can't see it look at it you can only see and you know what what hint i gave i tried to give you this marking right this label marking is giving you a hint that it is it is there but if it was not there if i put it like this it seems it's not there right true <laughs> in beaker correct and let me tell you what i used this is the same vegetable or refined oil if i tell you the the one which we use in our home uh that is the one and it gives an impression that it is getting disappeared and you know what i can do it fresh for you let me take a fresh test, uh, fresh beaker for you all right so this is a fresh beaker all right fine and here is a test tube inside it right you can see the test tube clearly now at least fine you can see it uh, nice chota bean you are getting there very good very good and you know what i'll do is i'll pour some more oil into it now watch see i have poured this much oil but i'm pretty sure you can still see the test tube right you can see it watch right you can still see the test tube right nice looking test tube but it it is not disappearing not exactly camouflaging right now i would say but look what happens and look very closely and can we zoom in please little bit uh, in this is it possible i'm asking my friend and you know my friend's name by the way right i have seen you uh, commenting for him in the chat and in the in the comment section also right it seems bent theek hai it seems bent nice so no, right now you are just talking about bending now watch very carefully where is it in this portion can you see it now right you cannot see it now an empty test tube is visible but a test tube filled with oil is no longer visible ha huh, pepsi bottle <laughs> yes correct and if i take this glass rod again this is what a glass rod if i dip it what do you see again the top portion is the top portion <laughs> his name is abdul by the way so the top portion is visible the lower portion is camouflaging same thing is happening here right correct true 
Now, the question is, why? So it's okay. People have been pulling many magic tricks with the same explanation. It's a very simple thing, if you, if you see it right now. Not visible, na? Hey, na? So, it seems very simple, but there is a science behind it. And there could be multiple magic tricks possible with this one simple experiment. And yes, there are ways to uh, do it, right? It is visible, only the top portion, not the bottom portion, hey, na? Bottom portion is very slightly visible. You can, you can see over here. You can see my hand, but on the back, in, in between, you can't see the test tube. That's... Uh, Camouflage means, uh, have you seen military uh, clothes with green, brown, those, so that is what? To blend in with the environment, you know? that's, that's one thing. So this is a very simple experiment and very strong experiment. And you know what? By the end of this session, you will understand why. See, I understand that you have a hint. You know? How many of you think that you know the explanation? If the lights are off, you're asking, huh? I don't know what will happen. I can, I can try. Let's see. <laughs> Nothing exciting will happen. If the lights are off. So Neo, this, this, was, this one was for you. Right? This is experiment. So Jatin, what I'm trying to say is, everything seems to be magic until unless you know the science behind it. So let's understand the science behind it and then this will not be magic for us it will be science correct so kind of ishika right so test tube is transparent you are saying huh? but if the reason is the test tube being transparent then it shouldn't it should happen with everything no right if I, let's say, take an empty test tube, this is still transparent, right? But still you can see it. So it's not exactly the transparency that is mattering over here. Tavishi, you are very near. Mitra, dekho, mota mota me to refraction hi is answer. But how refraction? That is one question, na? So to answer that question, let's understand refraction, na? Abhi refraction is just like a word. Right? But inside this world, there are a lot of things. If you understand those things, then you can say, Sir, you know what? It's, it's science. We know what is the reason. Let me tell you, the test tube is not visible because... Blank, 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 blank. Okay? So let's do it. Come on. Bending of light also. That is refraction, Jagdeshwar. Correct? That's true. So, let's start understanding refraction. Nice, nice, Mayank. You are very... You are, you, you are almost close. I mean, I would say you, you are just there. All right, guys, let's start understanding the refraction of light. The first observation, which, you, which all of you told me was that the test tube looked bent. That's true. That is the power of lens, Chota Beam. It's very easy. This is the easiest thing in, in lens, I will tell you. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll teach to you. Right? So the first answer you gave me was, sir, the test tube looked bent. Correct observation. See, science starts first of all from observation. The more you observe, the more you raise questions. The more you raise questions, the more you try it and figure out to answer them. That is science, by the way, right? Nothing else. Correct? Hana? Nice, Mitraj. Ha, ha, you can watch. Actually, we have done a lot of things in the, in the, in the past sessions. So, you said refraction of lies. Uh, because you, the pencil or the test tube was bent, you are true. Same thing you have, you have experienced when you take a glass of water and you, and you take a pencil and dip it inside it. You see it is broken or bent, hai na? correct? Uh -huh. Jagadeshwar, you can remember it like this, but I won't exactly say it is true. But yes, okay? So, what is refraction? In very simple terms, see, refraction, if tomorrow someone asks you, I would say you very straight away, you, you say, it is the bending of light. But there is a condition to it. It is the bending of light when it travels from one medium to another. One more thing. There is one more empty or, or blank or ambiguous field over here. One medium to another. What type of medium? Huh? What medium? Transparent medium, right? The medium which allow light to pass through them. Nice, Jagadeshwar. You got it? <laughs> this definition is copied of nice math science. Huh? A refraction in Hindi. Sorry, yaar. this is where my Hindi fails me a, little, a lot. It looks like a broken pencil. 
all these are observations answerable because of bending of light only but how is it that is something you will learn slowly hai na so pehle i gave you a very big thing i am asking you to observe a lot of things okay all these questions you are asking me na why sir it is looking like a broken pencil why its color looking like this why is the glass dot disappearing so raise these questions from me to you and in your mind because then only you will start figuring out figuring out the answers for them ha coin and water experiment also yes hey disha it's okay yes vansh correct so all right rarer medium denser medium acha this rarer denser is it that mass upon volume ha huh? upvartan kya acha theek hai thank you nivedita i'll i'll uh, remember this upvartan is refraction in hindi theek hai yes all right yes come on tell me is this rarer denser the same thing the mass upon volume ha huh? Hey Ashish, yes, come on, come on, answer, answer. Move towards the normal, ha, huh, Jagdish. But that is something which we have observed. Optical density is different. Oh, nice. Again, a very heavy word came, na? Optical density. Sir, so density we know, mass upon volume. What is optical density? Hena. So you know what? See, optical density. It seems to be, I would say, a very difficult and and heavy term. Rarer a denser, yes. The underlying concept is how optically denser a medium is. But that does not mean it is the mass upon volume thing. Because if you talk about water and oil, which one is lighter? Now I am talking about mass upon volume. Which one is lighter in water and oil? Whose density is less? Tell me. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> ah, that's true. Upvartan is more difficult than refraction. Yes, oil, right? The millionaire. There was a session we did, uh, me and Ankita ma'am, and there was whole plan was shared. Na, please watch that. It will be finished. Don't worry. Hey, water, thodi. Ha. it floats on water so, sir how did we know that oil is lighter than water because it was floating it means its density was less and whatever things density is less it floats so oil's density is actually less than water but you know what oil is optically denser than water means what are we saying refraction is the bending of light if light passes through water in oil it bends more in right it means oil is optically denser now there is a quantity there is a term or there is a value which tells you how much optically denser a medium is it also depends on how much the speed of light is varying in that medium okay so right that's why so this is a one very good example or pair i would say tomorrow if someone asks you by density mein kya difference hai what is difference you can say oil and water oil is lighter than water but you know what it is optically denser than water light bends more in oil okay ऑप्टिकल डेंसिटी का जयश्री इट्स अ वर्ड आई वोट से दिस अफिक डेफिनेशन टू इट ऑप्टिकल डेंसिटी ओनली मीन्स हाउ मच हाउ लाइट इज इंटरक्टिंग विद दैट मटीरियल राइट हाउ मच इट इज रिफ्रैक्टिंग इन दैट मटीरियल एंड हाउ मच इज द स्पीड रिड्यूसिंग इन दैट मटीरियल एंड डोंट वरी आई एम कमिंग टू दिस पॉइंट कि रिफ्रैक्शन में क्या होता है येस आईज डेंसिटी ऑल्सो डिज इंपोर्टेंट करेक्ट ना इस इशी का है ना येस मैम करेक्ट ठीक है सो टिल हेयर आई थिंक इट्स फाइन एंड आई अंडरस्टैंड वन और टू पॉइंट्स माइट बी कंफ्यूजिंग टू यू राइट नाउ होल्ड ऑन है ना हैव पेशेंस तो जस्ट होल्ड योर हार्ट एंड लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड यू विल गेट देम ठीक है सो रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट सी व्हेन अ लाइट गोस फ्रॉम अ रेयरर मीडियम टू अ डेंसर मीडियम राइट व्हेन अ लाइट गोस व्हेन अ लाइट गोस फ्रॉम अ रेयरर मीडियम टू अ डेंसर मीडियम इट बेंड्स वेयर इट बेंड्स इट बेंड्स टुवर्ड्स द नॉर्मल सी एंड सर व्हाट इज नॉर्मल same thing the normal which we had in mirrors same is the normal in refraction also it is a line which is at 90 degree to the interface of the two mediums hai na that is normal so this is angle of incidence and angle of refraction so if you notice when a light bends towards the normal first checkpoint again i have told this many times in mirror also always and always measure the angle from the normal not the surface theek hai so agar light if light is bending towards normal means angle of incidence right i is greater than r true hai na once because oil because oil has less density because it floats it is floating na so that's why why it has less density then i have to go into molecular structure which i don't want to go right now correct uh 
rarer is lighter medium no in op with in respect to optical density disha i would say rarer is optically rare medium and denser is optically denser medium means i don't want to reveal the word right now just hold on na you are compelling me to reveal the word right now hold on so from denser to rarer when the light moves you yeah? know when ah uh, nice shika coming to that coming to that so when light is going from denser to rarer it is observed it is an experimental observation that light bends away from the normal means acha ek aur cheez there is one more thing i am telling you one more problem which is a lot of student face sir in the last uh, experiment in the last in the first uh, diagram you are saying this one is i in second one you are saying this one is i so is any is there anyone who has this confusion sir in the first one you are saying this is angle of incidence in second one you are saying this is angle of incidence why why can't this one be angle of incidence anyone has this question ha ah, nice it's a very nice statement light is in a hurry and you know what in our in a in the in the byju's app it has been explained very nicely so by the way if you get time watch it no confusion na nice rishi direction of light theek hai mayank you had this confusion nice nivedita very good ha ah, it is the direction of light what also matters in choosing that which one is angle of incidence incident matlab first us pe padna hai na the first the ray which is striking in first case light is striking from here that's why this became angle of incidence in second one it is striking from the bottom that's why this became angle of incidence theek hai right got it nice you got to sort by you only ha it was explained very nicely so what do we see rare to denser bends towards normal means i is greater than r if it is bending away from normal means i is less than r got it got it ha huh. why it bends see i can explain it but right now i feel uh, i'll do it in some other or recorded session but today if i if i want to explain it there are multiple ways see newton's corpuscular theory also came then afterwards we have this uh, a, a car analogy also to explain how it why it bends so don't worry don't worry right now if i go into that no i'll spend the whole session doing that so hold on but yes by the way on the byju's app it has been explained clearly right roy please ask now how many of you remember there was something called as laws of reflection charvish bending may uh, today i i don't want to spend time on that because you know what we'll just talk about that only but it is very well explained by juzap and you know what i can also explain in some other or uh, some recorded video an extra thing for you you remember huh? nice disha jagdish very good math science yes car analogy is also there chota beam yeah we can talk about momentum and law conserve a loss of energy also chota beam yeah that's that's one thing ha huh, that was reflection na huh? angle i equals angle r right so laws of reflection may and what was the second law same plane wala incident ray reflected ray and normal lie in the same plane that was the second law in the in the laws of reflection that is still valid means incident ray refracted ray and the normal to the interface of two transparent media or lie in the same plane so that is still valid is just instead of reflected ray it is refracted ray hai na that is also valid correct fine theek hai nice nice yeah you guys know about fermat's principle of least time very good yes and instead of i equals r we have snell's law sin i upon sin r is a constant now Do you remember there was one thing which I was refraining myself to tell you optical density मतलब क्या सर क्या होगा क्या होगा it is the refractive index which tells you how much optically denser a medium is if this number is more means optical density of a material is more got it okay है ना yes there are two laws of refraction sin i upon sin r is going to be a constant right that constant is what we call as refractive index of a material kind of kind of right so i want i want go into this right now because you know what we have more things for this first law of reflection reflection wala to hui tha sin i oh, sorry i equals r you know angle of incidence equals angle of reflection right it's okay disha sin acha oh theek hai okay sorry check sin and sin do you guys remember those trigonometric ratios sin cos Tan, that is sign, है ना? That only sign. Sign मतलब क्या था? 
perpendicular upon hypotenuse that was sine right same nice correct correct chota bhi ha nivedita that's a good question but again if i take that question i'll spend the whole session so go ahead hai na if you if you open koi nahi aditya if you open the bajus app no you will get all these things they lie in one plane ishika even if it it is going like this it will bend here only means it will be one plane that plane could be like this if light is coming falling if light is falling like this that plane could be like this and it will be same plane but theek hai oh hey rishab so this constant is what we call as refractive index this is i would say the first most important term that came in this refraction thing refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1 hai na so when you say this was medium 2 this was medium 1 light is going from here till here this is i and this is r so sin i upon sin r equals refractive index so you can say n21 or little some icsc boards mein uh, they also say mu21 so both are correct actually theek hai ha so in in, in both <laughs> nice okay okay ha is the value oh it's okay rishab right so this is the trigonometric ratio and this is what we call as when you write n to 1 it means refractive index of 2 with respect to 1 when you say mu in this form it means 2 with respect to 1 okay so don't be confused with this i'm hoping you are noting these things down okay ha neo it will depend on which direction the light was going so sin i upon sin r that is true but here if you if you if you see na here we are talking about sin i upon sin r depending on the direction of light that's okay yes scientific enthusiast that's true right now between you and me it's air no do you see any bending or anything no you don't see it right so correct right okay okay fine so let's see uh, a refractive index what is refractive index it is the speed of light in vacuum upon speed of light in the medium this is something which you have always told me see when light is going from one medium to another let's say what is the speed of light in vacuum can can someone tell me can someone tell me speed of light in vacuum i understand the power will 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 be confusing but still what no one knows it huh? nice satya correct right 3 into 10 power 8 that's true right so this is vacuum and similar it is in air 2.999 something so we say vacuum and air the speed of light is same but when it passes through materials which have higher refractive index its speed reduces now i understand you have been asking me sir why the speed reduces and i'm telling you that you know what i don't want to spend time on the why thing right now because there is a whole theory to it and you know what we'll spend a lot of time doing that but on bajju app is there so please make sure you watch that okay okay so this is one thing next so refractive index also becomes equal to the ratio of speed of light in vacuum upon speed of light in the medium so in a way if you think this ratio is telling you how much by what factor the speed of light decreases in this medium okay Yes, Ishika. That's true. That's true. By the way, we'll have more questions on this on this particular statement in future. All right. So, absolute refractive index of some materials, sir. What is absolute refractive index? How many of you know absolute refractive index? Yes, that's correct. Shota Bim, you are absolutely right about absolute refractive index. Ah, uh, crafting with Dujan. Ghar, bache uh, UP mein mera. So n is a constant. Yes, math science, a constant. You don't know what? Okay. See, what did I tell you? Between if what is this n two one? It is refractive index of medium two with respect to medium one. है ना? है ना? This is refractive index of two with respect to one. If I tell you that medium one was air, if I tell you that n two a a means let's say it was air. then you don't have to write one you can say n2 is this number let's say for air 
it is 1.0003 for water so i can say nw is 1.33 and when you write it like this it means this is absolute refractive index so got the idea hai na ha nice shota beam that's correct refractive index of a material with respect to air or vacuum that is the absolute refractive index but refractive index of a medium with respect to any other material that is the relative refractive index got it hai na yes this thing is very important guys okay in future mein i don't want any confusion over here got it q q why w acha w to aise water ke liye le liya maine and i just said n w because it was water that's it no other reason for it all right so for water it is 1.33 turpentine oil it is 1.47 crown glass is 1.52 diamond is 2.42 and yes someone was saying is the uh, densest so diamond has pretty good refractive index 2.42 it's pretty pretty uh, high hai na so okay i'm explaining it again see when you write n21 you mean to say it is the refractive index of material 2 with respect to material 1 or medium 2 with respect to medium 1 which becomes a relative refractive index you are creating a relation of refractive index between medium 2 and medium 1 but when i tell you this is with respect to air not any other medium right it's with respect to air so refractive index of medium 2 with respect to air it becomes absolute refractive index of medium 2 got it fine hai na so glass lab ka 1.5 ke aspas hota hai and you know what that's why this is this is very very uh, uh, you'll get rarer medium denser medium jiska refractive index kam hai wo rarer hai jisko zyada hai wo denser hai simple theek hai all right so refractive index absolute refractive index is c upon v speed of light in vacuum upon speed of light in medium and this is the refractive index and this is also equal to sin i upon sin r simple got it okay fine yes nice shota beam yeah it's, it's a good statement very good very good nice no no you should not know uh, you know what it will be given to you but my suggestion is at least remember for vacuum or air and also remember for water and glass see water it's it's 4 by 3 which will come so many times in questions you will remember it 4 by 3 1.33 hota hai for glass it is 1.5 easy to remember theek hai what was c and v okay c was the speed of light in vacuum c hum normally use karte hain uske liye this was 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second v was the speed of light in that material which is always given to you or you will be uh, asked to find it theek hai nice chalo next This is the consolidated formula. Now, this is something which I want you to note down very diligently and very honestly. Anna, <laughs> yeah, chota bim, kind of, yes. So you are talking about the visible spectrum right now. Yes, it can come. So this is this is there. Anna, n two one is n two upon n one. Speed of light medium one upon speed upon medium two equals v one upon v two. Acha, ठीक है. Till now, whatever I told you, you might have got it. I think at least fifty, sixty percent. So you have got it. Now I'll tell you one more thing. See, n two one. I have told you. I told you n two one is refractive index of medium two with respect to medium one, which means n two one. Co. You can also write n two upon n one, and that is here, right? Did you understand the formula? Okay. Okay. See, n two upon n one. Acha. N two. Kya tha? N two. Kya tha? C upon velocity in medium two, n one kya tha? C upon velocity in medium one. So what did you get? V one upon V two, and that's what is given to you here. I'm telling you, see formulas we give after we have understood them. So this formula you have understood actually. What I want is after the session, just take the formula and try to play around with it, because you know for refractive index multiple things, na? Try to apply everything, and you will see a lot of new things, na? Okay, got it? Easy, badiya. Right, Ishika. I think your doubt is clear now. So this was V1 upon V2. By the way, if you can't see it, okay. Nice. Chalo, aage. A poll question for you. Chalo, chalo. Come on, come on. Poll question. Poll question. Yes. Nahi, nahi. Ha. N21 upon. Ha. <laughs> ha. Math science. Right. So easy. Very good. Very good. The absolute refractive index of glass is 3 by 2. I told you it is 1.5. You need to remember it. And that of water is 4 by 3. 
All right, I told you, you should remember it. Find the refractive index of glass with respect to water. Can you do it? It's easy, no? I'll give you four options, hai na? I'll, I'll give you four options, class 10th by the way. Uh, and I'll give you 30 seconds. Your time starts now, come on. Class 10th, class 10th. Okay. B, huh? B. Let's see. The thing which we have learned till now, that is giving, going to be applic applicable on this, okay? Yeah, it's okay. We have around 8 to 10 minutes more. Yeah, what do we have? Everybody saying B, huh? Okay. Is there anyone else who thinks it, it should not be B or any, any other option? Anyone? Or everyone, everyone believes it is, it is B? Nice. Very good then. My job is becoming easy then. Yeah, the correct answer is B only. Ha. Chota, yeah, that's true, hai na? Uh, this is This is very, very valid point you have raised. That is where people get confused. So, refractive index of, I'll tell you a method in which you won't be confused. At least, it works for me. So, absolute refractive index of glass is, means, I write NG is 3 by 2. Okay, glass with respect to where I don't I don't need to write NGA then. NG is this is three by two because it is absolute. Alright. NW is four by three. Now read this statement again carefully. Find refractive index of glass with respect to water. Acha. Mujhe glass ka nikalna hai water ki respect me. So I will write it is N G W. Matlab N G upon N W means 3 by 2 upon 4 by 3. So what do we get? 9 by 8. Simple. Got it? Yes. Yeah, bunch. <laughs> so what I'm saying is build a habit so that these mistakes now they will reduce. If your foundation is not strong means the, the house we build upon it. No, it goes like this moving here and there. So foundation should be strong. Your house will be all, all very easy. Right? Good. No doubt. Fine. Both badia. So with this, I would say same thing. Yeah, same thing is given over here also. So super easy. Very good. Medium one upon medium two. N equals C upon V. N21 equals N2 upon N1. It is equal V1 upon V2. And this is something, you know what, which we have already discussed. I just explained it to you how this formula got interchanged like this. Right? Both badia. Maza hai. Both badia. Nice. So let's see. Snell's law. Sin A upon sin R equals A constant that is N21. Refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1. And till now, this thing you, you have understood. Because this ray was, and you know what? Now, the reason I'm showing this to you again is look at the ray. Look at the ray. It is going from medium 1 to medium 2. So someone was asking uh, that, sir, will this always be refractive index of 2 with respect to 1? It means. Ray was going from medium 1 to medium 2. So you said sin i upon sin r is refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1. Achha, I'm going to ask you one more thing and this is very important because I believe you can give me the correct answer. Achha, maan lo, maan lo. Let's just assume this ray was not going like this. It was going like this from medium 2 to medium 1. Right? From medium 2 to medium 1 like this. Let's assume. Let's play around. Nah. Let's learn like a student, then think like a scientist. Come on. Let's say the ray was going from medium 2 to medium 1 like this. So bending is fine. Bending away from normal. This angle will become angle of incidence. It will become angle of ref refraction. And now if I write sin i upon sin r. Are you with me? Are you with me? Hey, nah? Nice, nice. Ishika has given an answer. Ishika has given an answer. Yes, very good. What do you think? Denser to rarer medium. Yes, correct. It is going. Nice. It is refractive index of 1 with respect to 2. Ye hai 1, ye hai 2. This is N1 with respect to 2. So do you understand how the direction of ray matters? 
sin i upon sin r when it was going from a rarer to a denser medium this was n21 2 with respect to 1 when the light was going from medium 2 to medium 1 that is denser to a rarer medium it was going from it was going from an angle of incidence is less compared to r means sin i upon sin r will give you refractive index yes it will be a constant yes but it will be of medium 1 with respect to medium 2 got it okay this was very important because see I don't tell this to every student but I saw that you guys uh, are pretty good and you are understanding really well that that's why I explained this to you. Fine. Got it? Wow Tavishi. Very good. Very good. Right? That's that nice here. Yeah? This is important. Very good. Okay. Let's test this concept then. Let's test it. Come on. Observe the figure given below and find the refractive index of medium B with respect to medium A. One. Yes, uh, so scientific enthusiasts, you know what? We'll, we'll do questions with three mediums also. Yeah? So we'll do these questions in, in, uh, in the session. Don't worry, in the coming sessions. Aaj to pehla din refraction. And in first day, we are discussing things, you know what? We normally don't teach students depending on how well they are they are getting it so that's why i told this to you so okay observe the figure given below and find the refractive index of medium b with respect to medium a first thing is any anything uh, option a b c d any any idea one upon root two punam is saying one upon root two means option b punam is saying option b mayang is saying option b okay satya you are saying option b okay fine b और सारे बी आ रहे हैं क्या ठीक है ओके पीपल हु आर स्टिल सॉल्विंग सी प्रगति से सेड ए ओके नाइस आई सी अ डिफरेंट आंसर इट्स अ गुड थिंग सी इट डजंट मैटर इफ योर आंसर इज करेक्ट और राइट और रॉन्ग राइट नाउ सी प्रगति इट्स ओके आई आई लाइक द कॉन्फिडेंस दैट यू हैड इवन इफ यू गिव अ डिफरेंट आंसर बिकॉज़ इट्स वेरी इजी टू गो विद द फ्लो सब बी बोल रहे हैं हम भी बी बोल देते हैं जरूरी नहीं है से व्हाट यू फील इज राइट because this is the time to make mistakes do as many mistakes you want it's my my i am give a free hand to it jitna mistake karna hai karo a aa raha hai b aa raha hai c aa raha hai d aa raha hai e aa raha hai chalega koi dikkat nahi hey rabbi hello yes chalo theek hai let's see find refractive index of medium b with respect to medium a the moment you see this line again i'm telling you with respect to what with respect to what b with respect to a means n b with respect to a is something which we have to find theek hai and b a nikalna hai ab ye kaise niklega light is going from a to b means if i say this is angle of incidence this is r sin i upon sin r if i do this will be what and b a simple right so it will be sin of 45 upon sin of 30 sin 45 is what 1 by root 2 sin 30 is what 1 by 2 ye to galti ho gaya B walo, this is a mistake. And I'm pretty sure the mistake was, the mistake was, yes, Amulu, you are right, you are right. You are right. Notes, bache, uh, uh, milta hai, telegram channel pe, hai na? So don't worry, aap join kar lo usko, you will get the notes over there. It is coming out to be 1 by root 2 upon root, upon, upon 1 by 2. Means 2 upon root 2. This is root 2 then. Means, Option A is correct. Wow, yaar, Pragati. Uh, a, a very good round of applause for Pragati, I would say. Because when everybody was saying B, only I saw one name with option A. Very good. Yes. Nice. Aha, so Jayashri, that's correct. 2 by root 2, actually. So 2 by root 2. What is 2? It is under root 2 multiplied by under root 2. Sir, how? Under root 2 multiplied by under root 2 is what? Under root of 2 square. Under root of 2 square is what? It is 2 only, na? So that's why I'm saying calculation mistake is also important. Ah, only root 2 remains. Yeah, Rishi, you also said A, but ha, I'm just saying ke in the starting, na, when all the answers was B, I, I only saw one name with answer A. It's okay, it's okay, I know. Calculation mistake uh, with practice. Okay? Poonam, yes, definitely. More questions will give you. So the answer is option A. Alright, 
so today's session na i feel you have done very very good i would say just give a nice pat on your back and it's time to understand with this knowledge with this knowledge it's time to understand our trick the magic trick so let's see come on and the answer is the one which i don't know who gave the answer i'm sorry i forgot the name someone gave this answer the refractive index is same it's very very far i know right and you know what see i'll explain it to you in 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 very general language also i'll explain it to you so so we said refractive index of uh, glass was same as oil almost same see in between you and me there is air right in between you and me there is air only right so that's why we see no uh, uh, i would say the light ray is going straight there is no bending bending but in between let's say if i keep a glass tube although it is transparent but it has different refractive index means there is bending and your eye can sense it acha there is bending over there means something else is there your eye is able to sense it because the things which are behind the glass tube they the light from that is coming and getting bent in between but if i put again let's say in this air i put i just make a invisible block like this of air what does it mean waha bhi air yahan bhi air yahan bhi air it's done simple hai na right bending bending is fine so acha theek hai i'll just end the session with a very quick experiment which i can show it to you how i can show it to you let's see if it visible nahi no, this is torch is this laser let me see oh this one is not visible so can we switch to the top angle please once can you guys see something but i don't think so right now or if i put my hand below it then what nahi no, not yet not yet right this was done in your school i understand ha uh, close all the lights please all the lights all the lights can you see a very dim line in the glass so that is what the bending is happening over there and don't worry ha uh, if there was a smoke you could have seen it better that's true if there was a smoke you could have seen it better so theek hai chalo for you i'll do that also i know we don't have time but you know what very quickly we'll do it so let's see i'll show you show it to you with a with smoke also are kya hua isko and you know what i'm doing huh <laughs> yes yes i have agarbatti <laughs> so now theek hai watch Now I think you can see it, huh? Can you see the bending of light very clearly? Yes. So that's what I'm trying to explain, and you know what? The explanation bit will do in the next session. All right. So with this. i'm just trying to say that how glass or how bending of light happens with glass there is a homework question for you just take a screenshot very good chalo are nikalna hai mere ko bhai agla session hai 6 5 uh, minute ke andar come on take a screenshot take a screenshot and i'll explain it to you in the next session very definitely next class i'm telling you don't worry take the screenshot taken i want answers by the way and explanation for that refractive uh, uh, bending in the glass lab taken nice So we have got you covered, and there is image formation by spherical lenses on Wednesday, 6 p.m. Okay, fine. 
So guys, very important Telegram channel. Notes will come there. Scholarship test every Sunday. There's a trial class, fine. And this is something I should not be telling you because I'm pretty sure you will do it. Hana? You will get the notes. Yes, Anushka. For this, do I need to tell something to you? I don't think so. You will do it. Huh? And you will share it. You will subscribe also. And you will give a like, by the way. Whatever things you want and whatever things you feel are good, not good, tell us in the comment section. Very important. Communicate, guys. Come on. Let's make it more like a family union. Right? Thank you, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. And yes, it was very nice to be with you in this session. All right. Love you. Bye-bye.